Ah, here's the topic I have such mixed feelings about, man. You know, I've been a fan of Papoose for over 10 years now. You know, he's one of my lyrical heroes and everything. And he apparently signed with Rick Ross recently. And I posted about it on my blog, but I didn't get a chance to make a video yet. It's like, <clears throat> you know, in my personal opinion, Papoose is easily one of the best lyricists I've ever heard. One of the best rappers I've ever heard. And, oh man, you know, I, I just have such mixed feelings about this one. But let me go ahead and read this little art article to you guys. And I'm going to read the lyrics to you from the song that he did with Rick Ross. A lot of people are so ignorant. They're saying, oh, Papoos didn't really sign with Rick Ross. Oh, well, actually he did, for sure. For anybody who's spreading false rumors saying that there's no contract, that's a lie. He is signed with Rick Ross with... I guess MMG Maybach Music Group. So hotnewhiphop.com posted an article. Let me see, May 28th to 2017, titled Papoose Back on My Bullshit Remix, featuring Rick Ross and Jock Jacque. I hope I pronounced that name correctly. New song. So here's what they wrote. Papoose is back on his well, you already know from the title. And just in time for the Memorial Day weekend. For the remix, Papoose enlists the boss of all bosses. Rick Ross, huh? And has Jacque, however you know, how do you pronounce his name, on the hook. The warped dark beat starts off and immediately sets the vibe as Ross does what he does best on any track, talk that talk. Quote, any N-word throwing shade the last few years, fuck him. Ross sets up perfectly for Papoose to take over the first verse, displaying his classic rapid fire flow. Interesting. I know Papoose for his lyrics more so than his <laughs> classic rapid fire flow. But anyways, <laughs> but not so much much that it isn't understandable. Check out the full track. So anyways, yeah, I posted the song on my blog. Can't post it here. But let me go ahead and read to you uh, some of these lyrics. So first of all, <clears throat> now this is courtesy of Genius. Yes, Genius.com. And let me see. Really, the guy who, or the person who produced it is named Ty Stick. I've never heard of that person. I don't know. But anyways, let me see. Rick Ross is talking at the beginning. He says, any ninja, any ninja been throwing shade or hating in the last three years? Fuck him. Yeah, we shitting on you right now. We ain't giving no passes. Yeah, you pussy. Bang. Ha. Bang. Ninja still got the same car from the Trilla album. What? I don't know. <laughs> fuck is he talking about so papu starts off his verse i'm not gonna read all the lyrics i just want to tell you what papu said at the beginning he said this summer i'm only riding a convertible son i'm signed to mmg money murder and guns rick ross was official i knew him a long time because he took off his shades just so he can look in my eye wow so you know they knew each other for years now and, you know, when Papu said that in the song, some people were like, look, he didn't really sign with Rick Ross. This is just all made up. And they started asking dumb questions like, well, where are people getting this from? Well, from the song that they did together. You know, like literally they're saying anybody who says Papu is signed with Rick Ross is just making it up. Just just talking. But anyways, let me see. Rick Ross starts off his verse by saying, Met Pap in 96. That's crazy, right? They, so they known each other for over 20 damn years. Met Pap in 96, fresh off the boat. Residue of my raps from holding dust. I didn't want to in case I made her touch her toes. We touching money, but really, who touched the most? Okay. Anyway, so, yeah, it, it's official. He signed with Rick Ross. I, I, I know, just... it. <laughs> Yeah, so anyways, apparently they did another song with each other years ago. It was for, I guess, a DJ K Slave mixtape called, let me see, More Than Just a DJ. The song was the Black Stars remix featuring Busta Rhymes, Sheik Looch from The Locks, Rick Ross, and Papoose. I posted on my blog for those that didn't hear it, can't post here on YouTube. But basically, let me go ahead and read to you what Papoose had to say about it all on Instagram. He posted a picture of himself with Rick Ross, oh, the boss, and Papoose himself said, this summer I'm only riding in convertible son of signing MMG Money Murdering Guns. 
I knew Ross was official. I knew him a long time because he took his shades off just so he can look me in my eye. Back with back with remix. Heard you back in the precinct. Quick yapping, you weakling. Packing a mean grip automatic with three clips. You rap, you rap with a weak click. Stacking some mean chips. I spent a rack on a clean whip. Out in Manhattan, you don't have to believe it. Married the queen chick. She be keeping the king lit. I be gripping her cleavage, clapping them leeches. When the ratchet unleashes, I blast them to pieces. Fast when I'm reaching. Leave you pure Pelici. Wavy on that Max B shit. Bout it, bout it, Master P. Bitch, you get defeated. We the mafia, like the 3 6, the kingpin. I have an actual reason. Stop you maggots from breathing. No pacifier. I was passing fire, arms fired, crons when you rappers was teething. I, I get maybe he meant, maybe he meant to say chromes. I don't know. Uh, rappers was teething, trapping and eating. Got him back on the defense. I be having them speechless, fly and flashy. Got him Aggie. Say they send the shot to me and I haven't received it. Mm, notebook and fire flame emojis. I think that's a notebook emoji. Anyways. Papoose featuring at Rich Forever. That's Rick Ross's Instagram handle. At Jacque. Who can recite these lyrics? I'm reposting. Let's go. Uh, arm flexing emoji. Oh, I, I could do it. Like if, if I if I practice. I, I think I think I have a little bit of flow in me. I, I, I think I, I think I could do it. I think so. You know. Anyways, man. Like I said, I have mixed feelings about this thing. Right here. You know. Because it's like. I'm happy for Papoose to get another record. Well, <laughs> I expect that he could just easily get another record deal. But you know what I mean? What I really wanted to see since I kept seeing Papoose with Jay-Z popping up is I was hoping that they were going to link up. And I was hoping that Pat was going to say, hey, I got this deal with Rock Nation. That's what I was hoping to hear. But then he came back with some I'm working with Rick Ross stuff. And I was like, uh, really? You know, I I don't I don't know, man. It's it's like I mean I know that that's 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 good money. I know he's gonna be making that paper, but he he's, he's gonna make paper regardless. But you know, I mean it's a good look financially, I guess. I mean Rick Ross, I mean he's a damn mogul. You know, Mr. Wing stops and all that. You know, he's he's not just doing rap. He's doing whatever to get that money. You know, Rick Ross is good money. He's gonna get his paper. So I think it's a good business move. It's just Musically, I don't know how this is going to go together. I wanted to hear Papoose was on Rock Nation and working with Salam Remy. That, that's like the way that I imagine it. But I'm just a fan. You know what I'm saying? It's not my career. <laughs> but, you know, hey, I'm happy for him. Nevertheless, and, you know, I can't wait. I, the only thing we can really do, I guess, is wait it out to see how it's going to sound. You know, because one little remix with Rick Ross, that doesn't really tell us anything. So I don't want to prejudge it. So I'm going to wait to hear a few more songs before I, I honestly critique it. I'm just saying that I thought I, I was hoping that I was going to hear something else. But, hey, it's all good. You know, I, I'm just happy that everybody's getting money out here. I, I just put it like that. But anyways, this is all my opinion. What do I know? I'm just a Papoose fan with a microphone. Let me know what y'all think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine, Meat Magazine 7 on Google+. Plus. Meet Magazine blog and Instagram. Be sure to hit that notification button. It's right next to the subscribe button. It looks like a bell. Once you click that button, you'll be sent alerts to be notified when new videos get posted.